probably know that Michael Keaton is playing the Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming this summer. But did you know that the Vulture was Spidey's first true supervillain? And you never forget your first. Well, there's probably lots about the Vulture that you don't know, which we're going to tell you in the next two minutes, only two. Or maybe you do know it and you're just testing us, which, you know, we're going to do the video anyway. So here we go. After first tangling with the Master of Disguise Chameleon in his first adventure, Spider-Man graduated immediately to the Vulture, a villain with flight, enhanced strength, and tech know-how. He's kind of like a bad Batman. Adrian Toomes first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man number 2 in 1963, created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. When Toomes invented his flight harness, he was doing it for business. Betrayed by his partner, he turned to crime, natural career path. From there, well, it's your typical Spidey villain story. He joined the Sinister Six Doc Ock supervillain team, went to jail a bunch of times, passed on his harness to another vulture, Blackie Drago, and inspired Clifton Shallot to mutate himself into a vulture man, or a man vulture. You can probably just skip Professor Shallot. While the vulture has never been particularly mm, successful in his criminal ways, he sure has been ubiquitous. That's an SAT word. He first showed up in the 1960s Spider-Man cartoon. He was in the 81 cartoon too and appeared on several episodes of the 90s animated series. There, he gained another power, the ability to take youth from others with his claws. I wouldn't hate having that. The spectacular Spider-Man saw Freddy Krueger actor Robert England voicing the Vulture. A young, emo, mutated version of Adrian Toomes was on The Ultimate Spider-Man, which will probably only confuse kids seeing Homecoming. Sorry, kids, don't watch it. In addition to cartoons, the Vulture has appeared in over 10 video games, though none as crazy as Shattered Dimensions. There, we meet Vulture Noir, an alternate Earth version of Toomes who eats people. Spider-Man Homecoming will be the Vulture's first big screen appearance, but it's not the first time they've tried to get him on screen. Ben Kingsley was in talks to play the Vulture in Spider-Man 3 before they decided to use Venom as a villain instead. I mean, Topher Grace over Ben Kingsley? Sony, what were you thinking? John Malkovich was next tapped, ready to play the character in Spider-Man 4, which wound up never being made. Finally, in Amazing Spider-Man 2, we saw the Vulture harness and wings right next to Doc Ock's tentacles, teasing the two for a future film. Alas, it wasn't meant to be, because Andrew Garfield got fired. But we are getting the Vulture anyway. The Spider-Man Homecoming Vulture, played by Keaton, sees Adrian Toomes as a down-on-his-luck salvager who thinks the little guy should benefit from all this crazy Stark and alien technology falling to the streets. He's also not totally bald, like Toomes is usually portrayed. So, that's the Vulture. And how'd I do time-wise? Got into. I did? Oh, awesome. Okay, well, uh, which is the most famous vulture? Adrian Toomes or this one from the Looney Tunes cartoons? Let us know in the comments. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.